Hi everyone. So I've got a Mac delivery. Said it right this time. Um, for tea tonight. I had to get it ordered, but it's just took forever. So I'm hoping nothing's cold because they can't find the house either. Believe it or not. Um, right. So tonight. To be honest, this is just a dish out tea because it's probably my usual. We've got a large chips. Let's see, are they cold? Mmm, a little bit cold. We've got... I did not order a Big Mac. What? <gasps> Fish bite? What the heck? We've got the completely wrong order. This is, this is so reminiscent of that iconic, the iconic Amberlynn Reed clip. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that clip of her going, oh, I just came back from Panera, guys, and I ordered a veggie sandwich, and they gave me a turkey sandwich? They gave me a turkey sandwich? Oh, and they, I asked for an apple, an apple, and they gave me two bags of chips? This is literally the exact same thing. And then I got a veggie sandwich. Literally just has veggies. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. <gasps> I know that's just okay, Amber. There would never be anything that's more okay than that, right? Your mouth is gonna be real satisfied. One apple? Ah, oh, man, let me tell you something, dude. When you're in the bag, okay, when you go get your food, and you ordered your food and you look in the bag. Don't you look in the bag? Don't you look in the bag? Don't you feel around a little bit? Don't you ensure that whatever's in the bag is your items? You don't got to do too much. You don't got to start taking the, fire, the food out and putting it on the table. You just give it a little like, you know, just give it a little bit of that. Put your hand in, touch it. Just touch it a little bit. Just see what's going on with it. See if it's moist. See if it's got that correct texture of whatever you ordered, right? It's not always going to be correct. It's all right. These are fast food workers, man. They got a lot of orders to fulfill, and you're just one of many. So you got to make sure. You got to ensure that this is the correct item. Now, I never heard of a fast food worker mistaking your fucking order so fucking drastically to to, to, to give her an apple to two bags of chips. I, that's like, you know, there couldn't even be two things that were completely on the opposite end of stuff. I don't know. But you know what? I'll, obviously, Amber would never lie about this, right? Right? Oh, they gave me the wrong sandwich. She ordered a veggie sandwich, by the way. That's what she said she ordered. Oh, no. Yeah, she's saying, oh, no, but she licking her lips, dude. You know what that means, right? Yeah, she gonna be, she loving that shit, dude. Deep in her mouth. Turkey with bacon and cheese. Yeah. I'm really, really upset right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be upset too. But your mouth is watering though, so I don't know, man. I mean, y y y your words are telling me one thing, but your mouth is telling me something else. Why are you licking your mouth like that though? You can't just be telling me like, oh, I didn't order this shit. I didn't really want it. Um, uh, yeah. Body that I'll shit. I'll try it. Of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, I was, yeah. Try that shit. Go ahead. You didn't order it, but you know, whatever. Veggie sandwich, turkey sandwich, bacon, cheese. <laughs> Obviously, not even close either. Not even close. Forget about calling them up. Hey, you fucked up my order. Nah. You imagine calling up Amber and be like, yo, you fucked up my order. What you talking about? That's exactly what you ordered. Just hang up. What you talking about? I almost want to call them and be like, um, excuse me. I'm not going to call them, dude. Come on. Yeah, right here. It says one Mediterranean veggie sandwich, no tomato. Cause I don't like tomato. Show <laughs> us. Let me see that shit. This is not a veggie sandwich. Wow. Damn. All right. Well, here we go. Damn. She went for that big ass bite too, bro. I bet she can three piece that. I bet if she really tried, she could easily three piece that shit. Damn, them lashes is thick. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Stop lying, dude. You know you body in that shit. You know you ordered that shit. You wanted a friend. Just keep it a buck. That's all I ask, man. If you're gonna if you're gonna lie like this, all I ask is for you keep it a buck. That's it. Just say, uh, you know, I didn't really. I was gonna order a veggie sandwich, but I'm fat as fuck. I'm not gonna order that shit. Come on now, guys. You know what I'm fucking doing. I'm ordering that fucking turkey and ch turkey and bacon shit. I'm ordering that. I'm not ordering <laughs> veggies. Get out of here, dude. Stop. I think it's actually it's actually pretty worse to be honest because it's McDonald's and at least Panera Bread is a little bit of a more 
quality restaurant, even though I did try to apply for Panera when I was like 19 years old to try to get a job. And they were like, what experience do you have? And I said, nothing. I literally have nothing. And I was trying to be honest. And I thought that was like the way to get jobs. But it turns out, no, you're not supposed to tell the truth. You're supposed to actually lie about all your experience. Just go off. Just go going like, yeah, I just graduated from college five years ago. Oh, my, me being 19, I'm a genius. Uh, don't worry about that. And also, I just got employed by Google like 14 days ago, but I decided that Panera was really my true calling. So that's why I'm here right now because I thought that this was gonna be my life goal. Anyway, um, how much is it? How much is it an hour? Eight dollars an hour? Perfect. <laughs> Sign me up. But anyway. This is exactly what this is. So if you see the title, which is like, I don't know, something on the, the tune of uh, Becky Jones, the new Amberlynn Reed, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe you just saw that clip on your screen of her, uh, Amberlynn Reed, one of the most iconic clips upon the internet, if I'm going to be honest with you, dude. It's actually beautiful. It truly gazing into the mind of a person that has a food addiction. And for somebody like Amber, I don't even, I mean, sorry, with somebody like Becky, I don't even know why we're even arguing this point. Does it even matter if you did or did not get the wrong order? You're going to eat it regardless. And I know she does eat it because... For somebody like Becky, there's really no room to not eat the food. She's literally sat there and said, I, oh my word, I, I just I don't love it. I just think that it's terrible. But anyway, guys, I'm going to eat it. You know, that's her. I mean, damn, look at that face shot is crazy. Um, but anyway, let's watch the video. For one, did not order fish bite. Oh. Almost doesn't even matter. You know she's gonna be body slamming no shits, dude. No problem at all. And you know what, dude? I gotta, I gotta say this, dude. I'm sick of going to Mickey D's and you ordered a large fry and they don't stack up the fry, dude. Put some extra fries on the top of this shit. This is insane. Look at the amount of fries that are not left. I mean, granted, for somebody like, for somebody like Becky, she could easily just have more at the bottom of the bag. She's been found guilty many, many times of having extra food in the bag. Like when she lifts it up, it almost kind of like she leans forward because there's so much extra in the bag. I don't know why she lies about that so often. All right, guys, that's Otis in the bag. Oh, shit, damn. Uh, yeah, let me just put this over here because it's, it's packed up. There's still way more in there. You know why there's way more in there? Because she's going to eat it, and that's the rest of her food. They are so fishy. I did not order a Big Mac. Can you imagine saying that the fish bites are fishy? <laughs> We've actually put in my hat trick. So I didn't actually know what the hat trick was. Uh, the other night when we first watched this on stream, I was actually really surprised. I thought this was just like a double quarter pounder or whatever, dude. Uh, this is a triple. This is a triple burger right here, dude. The hat trick. Here in the United States, we don't have such delicacies, which is crazy, by the way. You would think that here in America, <laughs> land of the free, home of the diabetes, home of the cholesterol, that we would have the hat trick burger. But no, we don't have that. We have other delicacies like a double or the triple stack like regular cheeseburger which is not worth it by the way or the double big mac which i'm gonna let you know right now don't do that don't do that to yourself if you bite into the burger and the top bun or the bottom bun does not get that first initial bite that's too big it's too much stuff on that burger and i know a lot of people will sit there and go david it's never enough on the burger no there is too much on the burger and i'll die on this hill if you stack the burger it's too much to where when you you cannot physically put the burger in your mouth off that first initial bite it's too big, okay? Just double double is the perfect amount. That is, you know, one one patty or two. Triple stacking it is crazy, okay? It's 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 too much. Too much. And I'll die on that hill. So anyway, I didn't know what this was, but this is a triple stack burger. And I think in total for the calorie count for that burger is around 800 calories, which, <laughs> I mean, that's light for somebody like Becky. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. That's real light. But 800 calories for almost anybody else, which is an entire meal for, like, most people. Literally, think about that. You're literally getting your protein, your fat, and your carbs on a meal. But for Becky, one sandwich. One sandwich, dude. <laughs> burger. Um, oh, no. There are going to just be drinks in this one. What are those? Who? I did not know McDonald's done the fish bites. I think she's lying, dude. For somebody like, for somebody like Becky, I think she really. If you were to go through her phone, right, and you know on your phone how it tells you under the settings like what apps you use the most and how long you use them for, I bet if you look under Becky's app usages, it would just be like all the delivery apps would be number one. So it would be obviously Uber Eats, obviously it would be DoorDash, and right below that would be also the apps that you're going to be buying from. So Mickey D's probably sitting there with 50,000 points. You know, the Wendy's app, obviously, you know, our girl like the Wendy's. Our girl loves any fast food in general, right? I would be, I'm not surprised if she had apps that I didn't even know existed, like Carl's Jr. or something like that. I'm sure that those are also apps, but I didn't know they exi those existed. I wouldn't be surprised if she had those two on her, uh, on her phone. 
And oh my gosh, they put in a banana milkshake. I want to like point this out real quick, okay? How did how did you know that shit was a banana milkshake? Like you just looked at that shit and you immediately knew that that was a banana milkshake? I th I'm gonna call a little bit of suspect on this shit, right? You're telling me you didn't order this shit, you had no idea about any of this, and yet you pulled that shit. I was like, oh yeah, that's my banana. I mean, this is the banana milkshake i didn't order obviously i didn't order and i want you to peep the next one i want you to put your eyes i want you to glaze your eyes over the next one real quick pay attention which i did not order and a strawberry milkshake yeah she didn't even look at that one that shit is crazy you know why she didn't look at that one because she used her deductive abilities to determine that if this was the banana milkshake which she ordered and the other one has to be obviously the strawberry milkshake she didn't look at that shit she literally put her eyes on it for a second and was like oh that's the strawberry one if this is a banana, obviously. So I am 100% going to say this. Aldana's Hill, she's lying. She is a liar. This right here is just for her mouth. She ordered this shit, and she tried to make it seem like she didn't order this shit because people are coming down. People are all over her comment section. Every video now I've been seeing, people have been claiming, dude, what are you doing to yourself? This is crazy, Becky. You're already big. You already got a lot of voluptuousness. Why do you need to go further? Why do you keep buying all this food? This is kind of crazy, actually. And even her avid supporters are still in the comment section going, I don't know, Becky. This is kind of crazy. This video right here is far and away proof that Becky is just unstoppable. Even if this was a mistaken order, which is highly suspect and lacks zero evidence. And you know how you can easily disprove this? I would love the receipts. I would love for Becky to just flash up on the screen real quick. Oh guys, I didn't order this. You know, just to make sure, and I'm gonna prove it to everyone. Here is the receipt from what I did order. And here you go, here's the date, and here's the date that today is. And as you can see, all I ordered was everything else with the exception of the fry or something like that, whatever. But the point I'm making is, she could easily prove us wrong, but instead she doesn't. And she wants us to believe that this is a lie, which is not a lie. I think this is all just for her mouth. And even if it wasn't for her mouth, it's for her mouth. She's gonna feed her mouth with this shit, even if it wasn't her order. Somebody uh, that got Becky's order, which let's be honest, no, it didn't happen. That did The DoorDash driver gave her the correct order. And fr frankly, the blasphemy of you, you, the blasphemy of you shitting on that DoorDash driver, it's, it's, it's a little bit offensive. Which I did not order. What else is in the bag? And that's it. See, that shit, what do you mean that's it? I literally heard the bag. It sounded like there was an anchor at the bottom of that shit. Did you guys not see how long it took her to push that shit to the side? That shit was heavy as fuck. I all that. And a strawberry milkshake. Watch that, watch, watch the sheer weight of the bag, bro. Watch this shit. Which I did not order. And that's it. What you mean that's it? I saw the bag. That shit is big. That shit is heavy. One moment. So, um, I should now not to order from there. Um, I want you to also, real quick, well, we'll just take a, yeah, we'll, well, you know what, we'll talk about when it happens. Fish bites. Um, should I try one? I want you to pay attention to the fries real quick, okay? Look at the fries. You see the fries right there? Watch the fries. They're so fishy. Watch this shit. Right. Let me get a fork. When did they do Watch the fries. Things? Hold up. Mm -mm. Yeah, not for me. How'd that get bigger? Did you, did you not see that? Did you not see that magic trick? Did you not see that magic trick? Look right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at the fries. Look at the fries. Yeah, not for me. How'd it get bigger? How the fuck did the fries get bigger, dude? You know what, man? You know what I think, man? I don't know why Becky gotta be lying to us like this, bro. I mean, can we just be honest for a second? We know you be eating. <laughs> I mean, I know you be putting food in your mouth. It's all right. It's fine, honestly. If you want to just come out here and you just want a body, all I want, if I'm going to keep it a solid buck with you guys, I just want her to keep it a buck. I want her to own it. I want her to nut up. I want her to tell us straight up, I don't give a fuck. What anybody says, I'm body slamming whatever I want to body slam. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't give a fuck if I'm going to be diabetic. I don't care if my, my, my leg is going to be dragging behind me. Listen, my mouth is my mouth. I'm going to be satisfying it. That's all I want Becky to say. Because honestly, this shit is actually sad. This shit is honestly depressing as fuck. Like, how the fuck are people going to be catching you increasing the fry capacity by like 10 or 20% out of nowhere? You can't. Dude, first of all, okay? 
everybody knows this shit. Everybody, okay? If you get the McDonald's fries, how long does it take for them to go limp, okay? The erectile dysfunction of the fries is, in a, is imminent. You're literally on a time clock. It's a bomb, all right? The fries, within about five to 10 minutes, are already starting to deteriorate. By 20 minutes, it's done. They're sogged up. Them things are limp, okay? Limper than when you, when you, limper than when you found out that your girlfriend's on her period type shit. That is what's happening here. How the fuck are we going more time and there's more fries on the plate? Becky just be lying too much, dude. And it's an assault on my mental capacity. It's You're really trying to tell me that I'm dumb. I know I'm not dumb. I have eyes. I can see that you're over here talking about some, I don't really like the fish bites. Take a bite. By the way, anybody that's ever said I don't like something and then proceeds to eat an entire one is crazy as fuck to me, okay? Just because it says a fish bite doesn't mean you can't take a bite of a bite just to make sure that you like it or don't like it. She real deal just put that whole thing in her mouth and was like, oh, I don't really like that shit. When you know she liked that shit in her mouth. But anyway, one more time. We'll see the fries. Go ahead. Glaze your eyes on the fries. Mm -mm. That me. Crazy, man. Look at that shit. There's even fries on the plate now. Crazy as fuck, dude. Big as hell. Them fish bites are not for me. And I'm going to have to have a strawberry milkshake. She's going to have to have it now, obviously. Because even though she didn't order it, I mean, look. I'm not going to let it go to waste. <laughs> you, oh, is there other people in my house that could possibly want this? My mom, my dad. You know, Portia, who at first a lot of people have told me is not a dog. I thought Portia was a dog. I don't fucking know, dude. I've never heard anybody. I've never heard a human being be called Portia unless you're talking about like one of the strippers from GTA 5. Okay, whatever. But you could have easily given it to your cousin. But instead, you're sitting here going, I mean, listen, uh, even though I didn't order this, it's obvious I'm going to have to body slam it now, right? I mean, it's here. <laughs> I mean, I didn't order it, obviously. I would never order this. Never in my life. I would never think about ordering something like this ever in my entire life. But now that it's here and my mouth is dripping a little bit, looking at that sweet banana milkshake from McDonald's that cost how much money? $8.99? That was taken off my debit 25 minutes ago? Ah, oh, I'm going to have to satisfy my lips with the sweet delicacy of this shake. You might as well. You might as well, right? Fuck it. You know, when in Rome, I guess. Anyway, I got the hat trip burger. Triple stacking on that. Look at that triple stack right here. Look at that shit. One, two, three. And that shit slopped over. Man, they really don't give a fuck about that quality control over there at McDonald's, huh? I don't know what you guys have over there. What minorities you got working at McDonald's, dude? Because here in America, we got Puerto Rican dudes. And we got a lot of uh, Creole, a lot of Creolian guys, a lot of guys over there that be screaming and shit. And, you know, a lot of these guys are sexist. A lot of these guys at the McDonald's are really sexist. I walk into the McDonald's and I go, hey, man, uh, can I get a cup of water? Because here's the thing. I'm not buying soda. Suck me off. And I'm not paying for your fucking bottled water, dude. What are you talking about? $3 for a bottle of Poland Spring? Dude, I can go to the grocery store right now and pay $3 for a 24-pack. Suck me off. I'm not doing that shit. And I go, hey, man. Can I use, can I, can I get a cup of water? Hey, say, no, sorry, sir. We can't do that today. See, it's kind of not, the, we can't do this. Uh, no, no, it's uh, not for you, my friend. It's going to cost some money, you know, 15 pesos. And I'm sitting here like, all right, bro, whatever, man. I send in a girl, very pretty girl, and she asked for the same. Can I get a cup of water? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much? How many cups you want? Two, three? How much you want? It don't matter, <laughs> to be honest. Sexist. Sexism. Where is the equality, okay? Where, where, where is the equality, dude? You know what I'm talking about? She came out with a cup, and I was looking like, bro, hold on, you got that new, you got it from that guy over there? I was about to go away, and I'm about to start a problem, dude. But what kind of minorities you got working over there, bro? Because I know you don't got Puerto Rican guys, right? Do you got Puerto Rican guys working at McDonald's? Is that like a default? How does that work exactly? I know there are more than just minorities working at McDonald's. Look, I know, dude. Okay, I get it, dude. But if I'm being honest, dude, all the McDonald's I've ever been to, I think I've seen maybe two white dudes. Uh, and those were that was me. I was there. That was I was in the line. I can't believe. I can't believe I just had a fish bite. Let's have a bite of this. What do you mean you can't believe you had a fish bite? Shouldn't that just be like your entire life? I can't believe I just body slammed literally 4,000 calories. I can't believe that I literally put that shit in my mouth. And don't get me wrong, we've all had things in our mouths that we probably shouldn't have in our mouths. I remember when I was a kid, I used to suck on pennies. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know why anybody told me that was okay. Do you know how disgusting money is? Really disgusting. I'd rather lick the rim of a glory hole than put money in my mouth. And, you know, the point I'm making is, though, we all do deplorable things with our mouths. And for Becky to sit there and say that as well, it's, uh, it's an anomaly, dude. 
Here we go, right there, that triple stack. Damn. Mm. It's McDonald's. Why does she even do this? Like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it. I hope you guys don't see me eating this this triple stacker. <sighs> dude, I've seen you literally eat like an entire ice cream chrome in 30 seconds, dude. I don't give a fuck about you watching you eat this shit. Like, at this point, dude, I'm numb. The onions on that are amazing. Only, only Becky can be eating a triple stack burger and go, damn, the onions. But yeah, that's my messed up Mackies tonight, so... Love you. Yeah. Well, you know what, Becky, bro? That's this a sin. All of that shit was just a sin, dude. I hope you do better. Hi, everyone. So we're gonna do a dish out tea with me today. Dude, she gotta do something about the skincare, bro. I'm sick of looking at Becky and wondering what race she is today. Like, how? You know, she real deal just be changing shades every fucking day. And I'm sick of it, dude. I'm sick of going looking at Becky and going like, where are you from, dude? The ethnically ambiguousness of her is a day by day is different. Like, oh, she looks like a girl from the UK, but tomorrow she might look like she's from. I don't know, Indonesia. Are you ready for the football? So let me show you what we've got. So we've obviously got England inspired pizza. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. I don't know how you're gonna properly distribute this shit. Uh, somebody's gonna get some, somebody, if, look, there's a reason why we put the, the pepperonis across the, 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 the pizza like this. It's because if you do this, um, if I get this slice, dude, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be upset. I want some pepperoni. I want some meat on my pizza, okay? And I know Becky is probably going to get the inter the interior slices. Becky, did you do this on purpose? Keep it a buck. Are, is this just for you? Are you cutting this in fours? How are you cutting this exactly to equally distribute this? How many people are eating this? Is it just you? Is it just your mouth? Is this all for you? I also want to point out Becky's diet is a, a series of browns and grays, uh, Neapolitan colors for Becky. All of the food that she eats are just Neapolitan, just a series of browns and grays. And it's very disappointing because she could easily vibrant up the thing, but it almost kind of seems like our girl is allergic to fruits and vegetables. And when she does eat it, she has a tendency of coating it with chocolate, thus making it more brown. So she can never succeed. Pepperoni. And then this. Look at this fucking shit, dude. Look at this fucking shit salty disgusting dry as fuck dude how long you cook this shit for dude would you would you put an extra 20 minutes on the air fry on everything here jesus christ becky you're gonna be taking bites of this and just <laughs> tumbleweeds coming out your mouth clint eastwood in the back looking like this whatever his face was you know it's a lovely platter of food got some chips some burritos chicken satay sticks some cheese balls everything here an indian selection and some dip and some garlic bread. So. You know, I think that Becky doesn't understand how many calories these dips are, dude. Or maybe she just doesn't give a fuck at all. Uh, a lot of these calories uh, that she's getting are from the dips, dude. She just be coating the fuck out of all the food that she eats with dips. And I understand why. That shit dry as fuck, dude. Oh, my God. And our girl does not drink water. So she's never hydrated. Of course, she's going to need the liquid from somewhere. But preferably, if you're getting your liquid, it would be from something that doesn't have calories. For some reason, Becky always manages to make everything that she drinks tons and tons of calories for some reason but the the condiments dude uh dude you're literally stacking on just stacking on hundreds of extra calories for no reason and you know what there's lower calorie versions like i don't know why you you're so contempt of just eating your calories away and drinking them away too oh let's dish it out right okay so i'm gonna take a couple of burritos a couple of burritos becky there's only like six you do a, hold on, let me count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a couple is two. You're just going to body slam a fourth? A fourth of the breed? What about all this extra shit? Like, are you going to eat that too? Is this the drink? So good. Oh. Oh, Deep. no. Samosas. Oh, no. Becky. Hmm? Oh, Becky. Some onion bhajis. What is that? Some chicken. Oh, my stick. God. I'm gonna take some of these cheese balls. Oh, so you don't have. Damn! Where did all this come from? I knew it, bro. I knew Becky was gonna go for the slide. Damn, she really shit. She really cut that shit up into fours. That's crazy as fuck, bro. God damn! She took a fourth of the pizza and she took a slice with the with the pepperonis on it. I knew it, dude. I mean, what are you going to say about it? Oh, God damn, Becky. This is kind of crazy. But where's your drink at? I mean, my bad. <laughs> the condiments. It is my plate. I'm going to put some sauce. Plate is big as fuck, by the way, dude. Becky got to do something about these portion sizes. Sauce is on as well. 
But I hope everyone's having oh, a great. She didn't even show us where she was. She didn't even show us the dips. Sunday, let me know what you've got for tea. Let's talk into this. Not even a fourth of that. I had eggs. I had eggs this morning, dude. I had two hard-boiled eggs and a bagel. And you're out here demolishing that shit. Dude, look. Can we just talk about it for a second? Why is it brown? Why are you so brown? You got to do something about this, Becky. How long does it take to wash off the bronzer? It doesn't taste That's like anything. It's, if, it, if you just, like, go to the grocery store and you're buying those, like, basic bitch versions of whatever the fuck, the Mexican Puerto Rican foods that you could just throw in the air fryer for 25 minutes, they don't taste like anything. You do realize that. It's just food at that point. You're just eating to fill yourself up, which is fine if you're, like, starving to death. But for some reason, Becky is totally contempt. I don't think she has taste buds anymore. I, I honestly think that at the point that she's at right now, the taste buds have left her tongue. At the rate that she eats, I mean, you don't even need taste buds because you're not really eating for the taste. You're just eating just to eat. So for somebody like Becky, it probably doesn't matter. But in general, if you're spending all this money on food, you would think that you're going to put something delicioso in your mouth. But for some reason, nah, she just eats whatever the fuck it is. I have the burrito. Why do you close your eyes when you eat it? Like, why are you... Like, she's, like, trying to embrace the flavors almost, but there's nothing there. It's just salt. Mm. Okay, whatever. I don't give well, a fuck. Love you all, and happy Sunday. I love you too, Becky. Oh, my gosh, so I'm a little bit late to the trial. Look at this fucking shit. What? Like, can you, can you, can you stop? Can you stop and, can you just listen, okay? Listen to me. This is un, unsanitary behavior really quickly. This is disrespectful. That shit is big as fuck, okay? I know Becky got big fingers. I know she does. I saw her hands. I, sometimes I glaze at her hands and I go, that's not normal. Um, Becky is supposed to be a small goyle. I don't know how tall she is, but she don't look that tall. And she got a lot of weight. And the fact that, and you know what I also really don't, you know what I really don't appreciate about Becky? Why are you going on the trends? What are you doing right now? Like there, are, there, have, been, there have been plenty of trends that I looked at and I went, I'm not doing that. And you know what? Even the ones where people were doing cool stuff, I still said, I'm not doing that. You know why? Because I don't need to. Like, you remember when the, there was a trend when COVID was cool and people were sucking toilet toilet, toilet brims, right? I decided, uh, you know, I decided after I was watching all those videos of people licking the rims of toilet bowls that I wasn't going to do that. You know why? Because, listen, it's a trend and I'm not trying to suck toilet bowls. So I decided with using my deductive abilities that that wasn't good for me. For Becky to look at the viral Dubai chocolate bar, I don't even know what that even is. What are you talking about? Why are there so many trends that you're trying to follow? What is up with you? You don't have to do it. You know that? Like, do what? Like, she always uses the excuse too of like, "Oh my God, guys!" So somebody in my comment section told me to do this, and I always think you get like thousands of comments. Are you purposely looking for the one that told you to do this? Are you? alt account are you like alt accounting it just to write the comment so you have an excuse to do it you know you don't have to do everything somebody tells you to do right like there have been many times where i was in bed with a woman and she was like let me just put a finger in and i'm just thinking no uh i'm really good like i'm i'm actually really good and you know what how many times has that happened i don't know why so many women are so interested in finding out what the sensation of another of a of a man's butthole is like it's not good i don't shave most men don't shave most men don't even clean themselves down there and you want to do what it's not appropriate and you know what it's always too much you grab grabbing my butt cheeks and i get it it's okay if you're grabbing butt cheeks i'm not even one of those guys that think it's gay to have a butthole but you're grabbing my butt cheeks and you keep getting closer and closer. You're inching. Get away from me, okay? Why are you doing that shit? I said no. I don't know. What are we talking about? I don't know. To the trends. But I made the Dubai chocolate bar, the viral one. I got some milky bar chocolate just to put on the bottom. I then put it in the freezer for it to set. I then cut up some kanafa. I think this is how you pronounce it. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I melted some butter in a pan and then put the kanafa in. And you basically just leave this to go crispy. What is Once that? Once that's crisped up, it took about 15 minutes, I want to say. I put this into a bowl. And then this pistachio cream was so hard to get, I ended up just ordering it online. But look how nice it looks and it smells like Nutella. So I basically used this whole jar in here. What? Oh. Damn, Becky! Serving sizes, dude! Jesus! Also added in some tahini as well. Just a little bit of this. What do you mean, melted like half the jar? The dairy milk Ooh, chocolate, and then damn. added the rest in and let that melt within the melted chocolate. Added oh. this to the mold. I didn't have a proper chocolate bar mold, so this done. 
popped it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Oh. Then put the pistachio cream filling in, spreaded this around, and then topped it with the remaining chocolate. Oh. And then basically popped it in the freezer for another half an hour, I'd say. Becky, Becky. We got to talk about something, dude. We got to put some words to the mouth, dude. Uh, you've been putting a lot of food to the mouth. I think we need to start exchanging a little bit of words, man. Um, This ain't good. Uh, this is really not it. I don't know what you think you're doing. This is terrible. This is absolutely diabolical. You don't give a fuck about yourself? Like, literally don't even care at all? And I know you think that shit's good in your mouth. Like, I know you're thinking, like, damn, like, how could this be bad? I'm literally satisfying my urges. Sometimes you need to not do that. Like sometimes when you want to do something, it's really okay to not do that. You know, like there are many times where somebody goes, man, I would love to just buy a Tesla. I would really love to cheat on my girlfriend. I would really love to do a lot of things. But you know what you do instead? You don't. And you know what? For you, when you look at the, the, the hot new trends of making a chocolate bar, which is crazy as fuck given the fact that you're massively overweight and obese. And you don't need to be doing all that shit. And you're making deluxe gourmet chocolate bars from the Middle East, by the way, which is not even known for chocolate bars. And you're over here making that shit in your free times, which you have a lot of, by the way. And you just be lying to me about that shit consistently. You be saying, oh, man, you know, I don't have a lot of time. What are you even doing? You're literally out here making a video on how to make a fucking chocolate bar. And then you have the audacity to tell me in other videos, guys, no, you know, you know how it is. I didn't have time to put a meal together, so I had to get Mackey's. So I had to go get a quick Mackey's. And, oh, you know how it is. I wouldn't have been able to eat it until later. So, no, couldn't do it. And you're out here making deluxe chocolate bars? You got time for that? But you don't got time to put a sandwich together and a Tupperware? Where is the consistency? Where, where is the consistency at? Well, I'm just connecting the dots. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not, I'm just saying, Becky, it, there's a bunch of consistencies. And to me personally, I, it's an assault on my mental capacity because you think I'm dumb enough to watch your videos and then not realize that you're lying consistently about almost everything that you do. Why are you doing that shit so hard? I'm not dumb. At least I don't think I'm that dumb. At least I'm not dumb enough to look at this shit and think that it's... Whatever, bro. Let's watch this fucking terrible shit. Does she eat this shit? Just throw this shit away. You can make it and then throw it away. But obviously, she's not gonna throw it away. Claire? This looks like Shrek's pubic hair. And then basically popped it in the freezer for another half an hour, I'd say. I was surprised at how good it came out. <sighs> man, that shit is way bigger than I fucking thought, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I thought that shit wasn't as big as it was, man. That shit's big as fuck. Damn, dude. You really don't know how to apply that tanner, dude. What the fuck is going on here? Jesus, Becky. God damn, you darker than a chocolate. <sighs> that shit's big as fuck. Thick, man. Megan the Stallion? That shit's big as fuck. Oh, Becky. That bad boy. Damn. <laughs> shit is big. Yo, that shit is actually really fucking big, bro. That's a chocolate bar? God damn. Jesus, man. Becky, dude. You got to do something about that. That's big as hell. That's crazy as shit, dude. Why you wouldn't even... Bro, that shit's melting on your fingers. Now I know you're going to body slam that shit. That shit is massive. I cut it in half. I wish you could have heard the crunch. And then, of course, I had some. <sighs> cut it up into lots of little pieces. In your it's mouth? It's so thick. You cut it up in little pieces in your mouth? And honestly, it's... That's big as fuck! Oh! God damn, Becky, that shit big! The best thing I have tasted. I feel like I'm a chocolate bar maker now. It's... Bro, Becky gotta calm the fuck down, bro. You have, all right, let me ask you a question, dude. Uh, Gene Wilder, everybody knows. Best Willy Wonka. Was he fat? Nah. Did he eat his own stuff? Nah. You know why? He knew better. He knew better. He knew that shit. Like, you saw that purple bitch in the, in the movie? That's all I'm gonna say. Becky, on the other hand. <laughs> Listen, Becky. Uh, the last thing we need is you to be a chocolate bar maker. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't even know if you can call this a chocolate bar. This is diabolical. This is the type of shit that Mandark be crafted in his back room to rival Dexter. This shit right here is diabolical. This is the type of shit they were crafting in World War I to throw on the front lines as like a chemical weapon, dude. You can't be bodying this shit. What are you doing? 
Oh my god, that shit is real. I'm not playing with you. This shit is big. Am I wrong? Is that shit not big as fuck? Look at the size. Bro, that shit is massive. Oh my god. Too thick. And honestly, it's the best thing I have tasted. She always closes. She, she doesn't have a lot of eyes already. You know what I'm talking about? Her eyes are being slowly but surely compelled to close because of the sheer girth and the weight around them and she just refuses to remedy that in any way i feel like i'm a chocolate bar maker now it's so good hi everyone i'm just done with becky dude i'm done with her dude i'm sick of this shit i'm sick of watching her just be you know why you know you over here telling me you don't got time for anything dude and i just all i ever see you do it's either one of two things all i see you do it's either you're in the kitchen making some crazy shit <laughs> Uh, making some shit that nobody should ever be thinking about making, but somehow you managed to put it together. I don't even know if that Dubai chocolate shit is even real. I think you just threw some shit together and was like, oh, I need an excuse to throw this shit together. And the, the same thing with all the, the smorgasbord, the charcuterie board of brown and gray food. And then you had the makais that you lied about. It's just... Why are you doing this to yourself, Becky? And why are you making me watch this shit? Huh? Welcome to my what are you eating a day? Big as fuck, dude. That shit is big as hell. Look at the size of this cup. It's big, bro. Why? Wait, what are the serving sizes you got? What are you doing? Why is everything you got like five times bigger than what it should be? But for my breakfast, I had some. Am I, look, am I wrong, dude? Anytime she has the opportunity to throw some fruits or vegetables inside the food, it almost always surely ends with chocolate being glazed on top. If that's not chocolate, that's Nutella. It's one, it's, it's always like that. I, you can't make this shit up. Pancakes with strawberries, Greek yogurt, and some chocolate drizzle sauce. With a nice cup of tea. Always love these type of breakfast. So, so yummy. Then a little bit later on, I- a Fucking pack of Pringles, why the fuck not? I'm representing for the mustache gang. I had some of these Pringles. Some, by the sour way. Sour cream and chocolate. Some, by the way, is all of it. Damn, she double stacking it too. <laughs> that, that thing is going by quick. <laughs> if you double stacking the Pringles, dude, you you end in the you end in that fucking jar in, a, in, in an instant. Five ones have always been my favorite flavor. What's your flavor? Tell me what your flavor. Then the tea. Damn. This was a nightmare. We got Damn. a McDonald's. Dude, you didn't even chew the other ones, bro. There was still remnants in your mouth from the previous ones. Now, to be fair, I dude, look at the fucking bronzer, dude. Look at that. It's leaking. It's leaking from the top. Put the hat trick burger meal, and that was absolutely fine. But they messed the whole order up. So we got these fish bites and I tried one. And as you can see, I did not like it. Since when did McDonald's even do them? And a strawberry milkshake, which, yeah, not a fan of either. Too. Hold up, bro. I think I might have just smelled something a little bit. I think I think I might have just smelled something up. I think I real deal might have been. I think I'm using my deductive. I think I might be Bruce Wayne. I think I might be Bruce Wayne. Do you guys remember at the very beginning of the video when she pulled out that? the banana and strawberry milkshake and how she took a sip of the banana one and then she just said right now that she took a sip of the strawberry one that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you decide how that was how she managed to take a sip of both i wonder what happened to those i wonder i wonder what happened i wonder how her mouth felt be fair burger was very nice though then later on, I had so much. You know, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. If there's a then later on, I don't know how many times I hear Becky go, "This is what I ate in a day," and I think it's done. And then she goes, "And then, and then, oh yeah, and by the way, and then." And it's like, oh Becky, um, what, do you just have like an ability to spawn food? How do you have just all this food just lying around? Where's your money coming from? How do you have enough money, dude? <laughs> let me talk to you something. Let me let me talk to you real quick. If this was not her order. How much money do you think she spent on the actual order? Because if I order something, let me let me tell you something. If I order something and I get something more than what I ordered, I'm not returning it, obviously. But Becky, on the other hand, she didn't return this shit, which lets me know that she got more here than she did on the previous order, right? Okay. So Becky, I think, I, you know what? Using my deductive abilities, there's no way this shit was a lie. There's no way that the, the order was mistaken, dude. This shit was for her mouth. She ordered this shit. She's just lying to us, dude. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. For Space Raiders, I feel like these are always like a go-to crisp for me. I just love them. 
Well, that was everything, and I hope you had a great... It's enough, Becky. It's, it's enough, dude. It, it, it might actually be more than enough, to be honest. Bye. Love you all. <sighs> Damn, man. Dish out Friday night tea with me. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh. Damn. What is that? What is that? Where you find that? That shepherd's pie. How? Is that good? Is like, okay, hold on. People from the UK, let me know. Why does this shit have boils? What is up? What happened here? Can you let me know in the UK? Is that normal? This look like an infection. Look at that shepherd's I'm pie. I'm trying not to. How stunning. Oh, damn. What the fuck did you make that shit in? Does it look? Ooh. Um, got some cut up bread and some broccoli as well, so let's dish it out. Ooh. Right, okay. Oh. I never made this tonight. It so, looks... Small pies. Uh, Come on, small, small. Oh, damn, that filter ain't working. That filter ain't working here. Damn, that shit. Woo. That shit is not doing its job. Absolutely beautiful. Ready? For the small piece. Punch. Come on, small piece, small piece. Damn. It's already not looking good. My dad puts cherry tomatoes on the top of there. Is that what those are? <laughs> right, okay. There's a lot of This looks so, so good. Carrot in. Becky! <gasps> Becky! What you doing? Nah, it's good! It's good! You're good! Okay. Oh! I'm gonna pull that back. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, you got nobody in your life trying to help you. Nobody can. Oh my god, that's just a lot. Damn, would you take a fourth of it? Oh my god! Some broccoli. Oh, thank god, something green. Very hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh. This, this is like a cheese bloomer. I've got some other pack. Oh! Guys, I didn't think I'd be having this in July. Oh my god, Becky! Holy shit! That is massive! That is big. That is real big, Becky. Oh shit! Look at that, guys. I'm gonna go and talk in. Let's go and see if it tastes nice. I've just said, who thought we'd be eating Shepherd's Pie in July? But here we go. Mm. Oh. Guys, I could eat mash and mint every day. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, damn. Is so there even safe. chewing? Well, let me know what you've got. That spoon is big as fuck. Fuck, that shit can barely fit in her mouth, man. Oh, shit. Damn, man. It's just unsanitary, diabolical. Every day? Every day? Multiple times a day? Nobody cares, huh? You got nobody in your life trying to enlighten you? Damn, man, that's tough. That's tough, man. That is real deal tough. All right, man. That's her life. I mean, it ain't gonna be much longer, but I hope she better, man. I hope I hope she do something about this, dude. That's that's not good. That's a good for you, Becky. <laughs> good for you, I guess. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I'm sorry. What do you want? I can't do shit about this, bro. I tried. You know, I tried, dude. I I really do. I hope she I hope she watches this video, Becky. If you watch this video, that's not good. Um, none of that was good. That's actually terrible. That was actually terrible, diabolical. Hit me up, hit me up on the cord, hit me up on the hit me up on the gram. I'm always there. Anyway, guys, that's we're gonna end the video here. If you watch the uh, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. I'd really appreciate that. Helps me grow in the algorithm and helps other people see this type of video. So I appreciate that. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in chair. 
because I need a new one. This one's ripped, and uh, it's uh, this was like two hundred dollars for a chair, and I don't know how much chairs usually should cost, but I thought two hundred dollars would have been good for a, more than a year. But I've only had this for like a year, I think. So it's really sad, actually, and it's like pretty uncomfortable. So I think I'm gonna have to buy another one. But I don't know where to get it, and I don't know what to do because I don't want to buy another chair that's just gonna break, and it's really depressing. So anyway. Um, you're beautiful, though, and I know you would never break. I know you are a solid person. Super solid, ultra solid. Look how fucking solid you are. Really solid. And you know what? You got great bone structure, too. You kind of giving me great bone structure right now, if you know what I'm talking about, dude. Making me kind of solid. Really solid because of the amount of love that I have for you. I love how great you are, how amazing you are, how how you're able to watch this video and realize that you're not gonna do any of that because it's crazy. What she does on a daily basis is actually insane. It's literally insane. Becky, gotta get rid of those plates. Those things are massive. Would you go on Amazon and type in biggest place you can buy and just buy those? Anyway, you're an amazing person. I love you. If you want to check out my social media, please follow me on any of it. It's going to be linked down below on the description of the video or in the description of the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.